Hey guys, it's Nurse Reads coming back at you with another video on how to stay organized in nursing school. I'm in a little bit of a different background I'm in my kitchen right now, but I kind of popped out a couple of things from nursing school that I still had um, that I kind of wanted to share with you all. Um, a young lady by the name of, I think it's Nicole, Nikki Nicole on here. I, I thank you, girl. You're always commenting. I want to show you as much love as possible. And to all my subscribers, I love you. I'm praying for you. And let's jump right into it. How to stay organized in nursing school. Now, I've been a nurse now for about two and a half years. So um, I gonna, I'm going to give you tips on what I remember will work for me. And again, a disclaimer, I... Um, not to brag, but I was able to stay on the dean's list. I was able to stay on, um, uh, have A's in my classes um, and things like that. And I was able to get a lot of scholarships, especially through nursing, because of my study habits, because I was able to center myself and get a good routine that works for me. Now, I will say again, when you start off, this is something that worked for me. Everybody is different. You may not learn the same. You may not feel the same. You may not think the same, of course. Um, and so you may not even interpret the same. So you have to find out what works for you best. Um, and let's jump right into it. So I wrote a couple of things down that I wanted to go over first. One of the first things that I would do is I had a binder for every single class. I know this can be a little bit pricey, but if you can go to the dollar store and get a couple of binders, um, 99 cents each, um, that really helped me. And um, especially sometimes with nursing, you can have like two to three classes of nursing at a time, depending on what school you go to, having a separate binder for each class really helps. Um, so kind of for an example, I'm gonna turn my phone around cause I'm not big on editing yet. Work with me, okay, people? So this right here is one of my binders that I had in school. Um, and so when you flip open it, the first thing that I used to do was I would print out the syllabus for the class. And as you can see, another tip that I would definitely give you all is to try and put your pages into slip covers. It's not necessary, but for me, because I felt like the information was so valuable, I didn't want it to mess up. So uh, the first thing I would do is I would print out the syllabus and I would check mark and look at every single thing there is on here that is extremely important that I need to know. What is it that I need to be looking for? When are my tests? Things like that. That's the first and foremost thing in order to stay organized in nursing school of what you need to do. Second thing that I used to do is um, I would do something called block scheduling. So in order to do block scheduling, you need to be able to um, say to yourself, okay, what topics do I need to know for this lesson? So what I used to do was do topic A, topic B, topic C, every topic had a lesson. And in block scheduling, you say to yourself on day one, Thursday, hour one, topic A, I would go over it for about 50 minutes. Now, you don't have to go over it for about 50 minutes. You can choose whatever you want to do, but this is what worked for me. Block scheduling really helped me to organize myself in nursing school. Try it out for yourself. And again, I'm not that great at the um, editing thing yet, but I just really wanted to give you this valuable information. Um, again, um, day one, Hour one, topic A. Hour two, topic B. Now, again, like I told you before, in nursing school, try not to sit down for too long studying at a time. Try and divide your time up between uh, one to two hours or three to four hours, whatever you're comfortable with. But again, block scheduling really helped me to stay organized. Um, another thing that really helped me to stay organized was printing my PowerPoints. Printing my PowerPoints was really powerful for me. And this is also goes into studying habits, but I feel like it helps you to organize your mind. And that's what we want to do. We want to organize our minds in order to really give everything we can to nursing school and to being nurses. So what I used to do was if you can um, have access to your um PowerPoints before class, try and have those printed out and review them before you go to class so that you can kind of highlight what are the main topic areas that I need to concentrate on. And while you're in class, take notes on that PowerPoint. Yes, my tree is still up. Get Let's get over it. Let's move past it. <laughs> it's still up. Um, 
Moving forward, a planner. Um, I think you had mentioned this, Miss Nikki, a uh, Nicole planner. And I will be very honest with you in nursing school. I think I did use a planner, but because I was so organized in knowing my routine of I would have a separate binder for every single class, I printed out the syllabus, I would legitimately make sure I had the dates of every single test highlighted. I do believe I used the planner, but one thing... Um, like I said, my study habits, because I was so organized in my routine, it wasn't a need for me to be so restrictive to a planner, though I did use it. Um, I don't have a planner on hand that I did use, um, but just any planner you can get that has the calendar and block times and days. So with studying with a planner, just to kind of pick up where I left off, what you can do is, again, print out your syllabus, look that over before you start school, and try your best to input every single important date that's on that syllabus into your planner. So um, one of the main things also that used to help me was highlighting. Um, I used to give a highlight to every different thing. Like if I had an exam, I would highlight it one color. If I had a project due, I would highlight it one color. If I was meeting with a team, I would highlight another color. Um, if I knew I had clinicals this day, I would highlight another color. So what one of the main things you need to do when it comes to planning a nursing school is to print out that syllabus, look at every single day on that calendar, that you have an exam due or something important due, input it into your planner um, and decide early on what time, what type of routine are you going to be studying from. And again, it's not that it's not really complicated. I wish, I wish I could really sit here and tell you an intricate boom, 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 boom. You know, go into it in depth. But let's I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not gonna sit here and, and play the fool. This is what got me to being at the top of my class, this is what got me to being able to live my life the fullest that I wanted to live it. This is what allowed me to, even through nursing school, as people were going through uh, problems in their marriages and breaking up with their boyfriends or girlfriends, I was flourishing in my ma in my relationship with what now my boyfriend was is my my husband now. But because I was able, I was able to organize myself in every other area other than just in planning. So again, just to wrap up a couple of things, um, use a binder for every single class you have. That really helps. If you would like to preserve your pages, try and get them into slip covers. This may be an extra step, but it really helped for me. Um, another thing, uh, print your PowerPoints before class so you can review, skim over them. What exactly is it? And if you can, kind of skim through the chapter before you come to class also and write your notes on your PowerPoint, not on a regular sheet of paper, on your PowerPoint. Um, next thing also, again, with the planner, print out that syllabus, put it at the front of your binder, look for the most important dates, input it into your planner, Put different highlights if you'd like to. It kind of makes it more interesting and fun um, if you can do that into your planner. Uh, next thing again, block scheduling. Block off your time for how long will you be studying for one thing versus how long will you be studying for another. Don't sit there for 10 hours studying. No, no, no. Unless you are so great and that's how you've been doing it to each his own. But for me, I had to give myself about two hours and within that two hours, 20, 30 minutes I was doing one thing and 30 minutes I was doing another. So you have to keep yourself intrigued and entertained um, and not just feel like it's a big feat that you have to do. Um, next thing is, again, uh, I don't think I really spoke about this, but sticky notes. Sticky notes are so big. Um, make a little to do to do list on your sticky notes um, and those little small ones that you can kind of tab the pages. I used to tab that in my textbooks. Like I would tab when I felt like, okay, this is where I'm going to stop or something like that. I would tab it um, or this was an important information. I would tab it. Another thing, um, this kind of uh, coincides again with studying habits. Try your best not to highlight the entire chapter. Let me say that again. Try your best not to highlight the entire chapter. Because when I tell you this, the entire chapter is not going to be on your test. The entire chapter is not something that's truly going to be what you you need to be able to study from. Or I mean, I mean, I, I'm just going to be I'm going to be real with you. 
You need to be able to prioritize and understand what's the most important piece that I need to know in this chapter. What's because a lot of the times I used to see people with their whole entire page is highlighted. No, let's let's utilize our skills. And especially it's the same thing when it comes to patients. When you see a patient and you come in to do your assessment and they come in with GI problems, you're not going to go straight for their lungs, are you? Just because that's the routine, uh, head to toe. No, if they're coming in with an acute issue, they're having GI upset, you're going to go for what the GI issues are first so you can address that first. You see what I'm saying? So we want to do the same thing. Let's understand what's the most important thing inside of our um, PowerPoints, inside of our chapters, and let's really hone in on that. So I hope this was helpful. I know it's not a grand answer. It is not like over the moon, but these are simple things that truly helped me. And I'm going to give it to you real. I'm not going to give you more. I'm not going to sit here and look up things online and find out how to plan. No. This worked for me. Keep in your mind. Do what you need to do before you do what you want to do. And you will always succeed. All right. I love you. I'm praying for you. You're blessed and favored. And have a blessed and beautiful new year.